it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here with a video for Purple Onion Designs. I'm going to be doing some colouring today and using uh, a couple of different sets. I'm going to start with a little fence image from Stephanie Ackerman's Home Sweet Home set and using some Versafine Onyx Black ink because I want to be doing um, some ink tense colouring. So. It's a good ink for the ink tense pencils. I'll be popping a little bird out of the Stacy Cooler set called Sweet Offerings. Um, just use my snap and my jig. Um, to get in just where I want. chose it a few different colours and I'll just see how we go. I'll use my mini mister just to put some water on my craft sheet. Um, I'll list all the colours that I'm using on my blog so if you're interested you can take a peek there and just lay down the colour. Um, Often I just sort of start where I want the highlights or I might even start where I want the shadows. It just depends on what I'm colouring at the time. But with ink tense pencils I find it's easier to put down the colour that I want because I don't tend to use watercolour paper with it. I just want to use the normal paper. So I find it easier to put the colour down first and then and then blend. Otherwise it, I need a bit more water and then it doesn't kind of work on just normal paper so I'll just do my colouring and then I'll get back to you. panel down and created a mask for the, for the bird. And I'll just cover him up. I want to add a little bit of Distress Ink. Uh, what have I chosen? Uh, tumble glass. Start off my panel and just gently work the, the ink in towards the image. Remove my mask and then I'll stamp my center mand. So it's a good idea to keep your masks once you've created them. You can use them over and over. So just pop it somewhere. I usually just keep it with my stamps. So if you look closely, you can see that I've missed a little bit of an edge around my image. So I'll just take some of the tumble glass distress ink and pop it on a block. And I've got a blender pen here. I'll just pick up some of that ink and just run that around the edge.
And I've got a sentiment that I want to use. It's from, it's another Stephanie Ackerman. It's from the Doodle Flower sentiment set. So it's another cute set. So I'll use my Stampin' Magic again. And just place that where I want it. And I'll use some Onyx Black Ink this time. Just love the way that stamps. Nice and crisp. Never have too many black inks. I'll just use a little bit of removable adhesive on the back of my panel too, just so it doesn't move while I'm stamping. Okay, so my finished card size is 15 by 9.5 centimetres. I'll put some foam tape on the back of my little image and I'm just going to place it in the centre just up to the top of the card there. Just love colouring with my intense pencils, especially when the images are as cute as this. I'll have all the products that I've used listed at my blog. Otherwise, head on over to Purple Onion Designs and you can find them there. So I'll be back again with some more colouring very soon. So happy paper crafting and I'll see you then. Bye.